What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be putting some window tint right here on the Ford. I've been told multiple times tint is just like wrap, just not as forgiving as wrap. But I'm hoping with a lot of patience and some time, we can get the window tinted and then possibly do the other windows. Now, as you can tell on this window, there's only a little bit of residue left right across here from whatever tint used to be on this window. So right here is some Gila, Gila, some, something like that. I don't know how this is pronounced, but it is G-I-L-A. And this is 2.5%. As you can see right here, 2.5% window tint. And we're going to start on the driver window that we replaced. Since this is my daily driver and the Ford is not a daily driver, I wanna black out the windows. Uh, I eventually actually wanna do 5% down the whole windshield. Uh, I would do 2.5%, but this is only 24 inches wide and the windshield itself is exactly 24 inches. And I would like a little playing room just in case something doesn't go right just in case something doesn't go right just in case something doesn't go right just like that i messed this piece up we are going to be doing the 2.5 percent all the way around now i have two rolls of it i picked this up at advanced auto parts it was i'm gonna say about 15 dollars a roll i think it was about 30 dollars in total just for these two which i mean isn't terrible it's 2.5 percent i believe the five percent was like 10 bucks a roll so if you're not wanting to do super dark tint then you can save a little bit more money and i know you guys are going to say advanced AutoZone, walmart is all super cheap tint i was going to buy tint off amazon and after watching a couple videos on youtube um it's all about the same quality unless you spend some money and actually go through a company and have it shipped to you like lumar films or suntech anything like that you're just going to get cheap film besides that and i didn't feel like waiting i didn't feel like making you guys wait i just wanted it so we went ahead and picked it up from advance and off of amazon we got a window tinting kit it comes with everything from multiple size squeegees window cleaners felt squeegees it comes with a razor blade it comes with a window scraper it comes with a bunch of different things to help you with tinting your windows and i believe this was like 14 dollars. so i mean for an extra 14 bucks you have something to help you i have a spray bottle here i'm gonna put some dish soap in to clean the windows and we'll just use the scraper to actually clean everything off but in all reality this is just about everything you need enough of talking i'm sure this intro is super boring for you guys but we have everything now let's jump in to cleaning the window. All right, everybody. Now we've just got some soapy water that we're just gonna spray down on the window. And we've got a little plastic scraper that we're gonna clean the outside of the window. The reason why we're cleaning the outside is because when we put the tint down on the outside to shape it and cut it to size, you're gonna be setting it over here and you don't want any type of dirt or anything that might scratch the tint, might mess up the tint whatsoever. So we're gonna clean off the outside and then we'll pop around and do the inside. Okay, now first glance, you just look at it, it looks clean. But you come down here, and right down here in this bottom corner, right down here, there's a small piece of tint. Right there, and then we come over, and there's another piece right here. Now, when the window was dirty, I could not see that that was there, but once I cleaned the window, I found there's two small pieces of tint. Now we're just gonna take a little fine razor blade and scrape those off, and then clean the adhesive off.
Okay, I'm just gonna say this now. I probably sped this up probably over about 45 seconds long, maybe a minute long of me trying about four different pieces of tint. And I'm finally going to throw in the towel and take the L on this one, guys. Um, I'm beyond frustrated. I don't want to show too much of that on, ca on camera because I don't want to be looked at that way. But I have tried for probably about four hours now to get a piece of tint on this window. And I'm sure uh, a lot of it's lack of experience. But also, guys, this tint is like impossible to work with. Even just looking at it right here, the tint on this Ford is close to five years old i believe it's either four or five years old and i'm sure it's faded i'm just standing right here looking at the tent right there you can tell there's a different color between this and this and it's it's very very cheap tent um it's about a waste of 30 dollars on my end but this will show you guys weight if you want to try tent yourself order some good tent order a good brand tent don't use this AutoZone advanced tent. I'm sure if you take your time and you're inside out of the elements and you're just very, very, very patient, you could probably get away with this. But just looking at the color of this tent, guys, this tent's not gonna last very long. If we take the walk of shame right here, you see all this tent all over the ground. And then you look back here and you see all this tent back here. And then you look and besides this, it was starting to look okay. We have a bad crease right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but when I pulled the release tape off of the tent, the release tape would not come off. It would just not, it was stuck to it. And I kept fighting and kept fighting and kept fighting. And finally it came off and it creased the living crap out of this tent. And then it fingered up really bad trying to get it to tuck in here. And it actually tore down here while I was tucking it. And then again, it ripped over here. I was just getting everything squeegeed down. Everything was starting to look okay. It was gonna be just good enough where I could leave it on the window just for it to actually be tinted. And then this tear right here happened. As you guys can see from this side, there's all the lines over here, the fingers right there. And I just wanna say that I'm not bashing this company's name. It's cheap tent. It's $15 a roll for 2.5% tent. It's a six and a half foot roll. Um, but every experience I've had with it so far has been absolutely terrible. Between the sticker on the tent wasting about six inches worth of tent on it because the sticker adhesive just stays on the tent and you don't want to try and work around adhesive. And then the tent just creasing so easily. I mean, you are trying to pull the tent and it creases. It creases while you're trying to get that adhesive sticker off. It just gets creases and the creases aren't coming out. So then you're working around the creases and then you finally get everything cut and shaped to the window and you get it put on the window and you gotta pull the release tape off and it creases again. And you're putting it on and you're squeegeeing it and I'm sure I probably had too much pressure. I was trying to get the fingers out and the tent tore, just tore. Just like that. So I'm going to take an X on this one. Now I'm sure professional tinners out there, I've seen a couple on YouTube, everything like that. They've used this brand tint and they're able to make it work. But you have to look at, at experience level there. This is my first time ever touching tint and I think I wasn't doing terrible. Once I kind of got the hang of how to cut the edges and everything, I wasn't doing terrible and I go to put it on and it tears. I'm sure I could probably sit out here for another two hours and finally get a piece to somewhat work, but do I want to go through all that after seeing the color of that tint? The, t the tint is blue. It is blue as the Ford blue. And tint's not supposed to be that color. Tint's supposed to be like a gray kind of color from the dye. And it just tells me that a year from now that tint is going to be trash. It is not going to be any good and that's why it's $15. So, how am I going to attack this because now this tent has to be taken off that window is still gonna be untinted we are going to try and find some pre-cut tent websites anything like that that would send me some pre-cut tent of course I'm gonna pay for it to put on here and that's how we'll tint the windows and if that's how we have to do it that's how we have to do it but I am not ever going to use either one of those again because they were absolutely terrible well now I guess before this dries we better 
find a way to get this off. Add it to the pile. Now back to a crystal clear window. I mean, at least my window's clean, right? So I wanna apologize. This is my second failed video and recorded wise a week, but posted wise two weeks. I completely apologize, guys. This was an epic fail. I failed when I was doing the tweeters on the Chevy and now I failed trying to do window tint on the Ford. And what really sucks is how excited I was to do this window tent. So hopefully I can get some pre-cut tent ordered and shipped so we can actually get the window tinted. And I'm gonna order 5% for all of the windows. And if I can, I'm gonna order a second one for that window. And that way we can just do double five on all of them and have everything dark. That way one window is not lighter than the other. And hopefully we can get it all figured out from there. If it's already pre-cut, all you have to do is just clean the window, stick it on. Simple as that, you don't have to cut it. And from what I learned, cutting is the hardest part. Um, actually putting it on was not very hard. Uh, cutting it was the hardest part and getting it cut to fit in the seals was very hard. I apologize guys, it's gonna be a really short video. Uh, I apologize that this is a failed video, but now you guys know, if you're wanting to tint your windows, be patient, spend the money and order good tint because the Advance AutoZone, that Gila Gila garbage, um, does not work very well for tinting windows. But it's only if you're unexperienced. I'm sure if you're an experienced tinner, you can do it, no problem. But for an unexperienced person, I do not suggest learning from something like that. If you haven't already, go down, hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you'd still like to give me a little bit of support, hit that thumbs up button because I mean, guys, I took a big L here. I need all the love I can get. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.